of course. Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I've decided to just sit behind the camera for this one. <laughs> I'm just, just feeling a little bit lazy and I want to just review this thing really quickly so I can uh, open this guy. I'm so excited. It's uh, not often that a toy will sit longer than like five minutes be without being unopened. So um, we're here, we're going to open up the, the Mandalorian and Grogu from Star Wars Toy Box. Now this is Disney's own action figure line, sort of... Originally, it was sort of based on the stylistic um, characters of uh, the the Infinity Game that they did, which was really cool. And they've done quite a lot of figures um, from all through Disney franchises, Marvel, Toy Story, Incredibles, etc. Um, yeah, obviously the Star Wars ones are the ones that tickle my fancy. So I do like the packaging. They aren't expensive figures either, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, I kind of like the stylistic sort of design of them. I think they're really neat. So let's crack him open and have a look. Oh, that's, the packaging can just go over there on the floor with the rest. So we'll firstly, we take out the child. So here he is. Uh, Sith Lord 229 said it was a little bit of a bummer. He didn't really come with a uh, like a floating stand or something. You just forced to sort of just sit him on the ground. Um, but I think I've got something that might work. I'll just drill a small hole in the bottom that I can prop him onto a onto a clear stand. Otherwise, it's it's quite cute. sort of sculpt and, and stuff on little Grogu here, which is nice. Sort of all tucked in there. Doesn't have any moving parts, but that's okay. It's just a nice bonus to come with with the Mando, so sit him there for the moment. And we'll try and wrestle this guy out from between all the little so many of those little tag tie things. This car is unstoppable. So here we go. Alright, so I do have his uh, blaster pistol. Doesn't come with his blaster rifle, so... A little bit warped from being in the packaging, but that's okay. It's quite a soft plastic, so a little bit of heat will get that back into shape. So it looks like it will fit nicely in his holster. Alright, let's get a look at him. It's kind of cool. Uh, he doesn't have the uh, mud horn yet, so you could say this is just based on the uh, episode where he hadn't had that engraved yet. It was sort of there was a few episodes there where he didn't have that yet, so that works. We'll, we'll call it that. Otherwise, he's kind of cool. Good articulation. These figures are pretty well articulated. Sort of, uh, yeah, a little bit over the top in some ways, like these tiny little skinny legs, but then gigantic feet. But uh, that's all part of the charm. I think it looks cool. It's like pulled straight out of the uh, Infinity Game, which is cool. I like it. Well, that sort of Disney aesthetic to it. Sort of softer plastic cape there. Being that those joints are so small up there in the thighs, the, the legs are kind of heavy, so it does 
sort of make them a little bit wobbly and a little bit funny to sort of pose. It's so skinny there and uh, quite bulky around the bottom of those legs, but um, you know, it's got peg holes, so once this guy's on a stand, it'll be great. A little bit of a black splodge of paint on the inside there, but I've got a little silver sharpie, so that will work fine. Otherwise, I'm not seeing any other issues with the uh, paint apps on this one. It's pretty nice and clean. The orange is definitely an interesting choice there on the finger fingerless gloves, or fingered gloves. But I'll see if that blaster will fit in his hand. It's a skinny little blaster, but uh, should fit in nicely. There we go. You can't get the finger because he hasn't got the separate individual fingers, so um, you can't get the finger through the uh, through the trigger trigger hole there. But that's okay. I might just sort of use a knife and just sort of slice that little bit of plastic off just so it can slot down with his finger in there. That'll look cool. So I like these figures a lot. I think they're I think they're cool. Just just something else, just something different for the collection. You know, we've all got Hasbro figures, we've all got Lego. Um, but yeah, these these things are just a little bit different. They're not not as common. Um, especially for me down here in Australia where we don't have Disney stores. So these things aren't easily attainable. But uh, this is a nice little set. I love having more Mandalorian and Grogu merch. I think that's awesome. More more toys of the Mandalorian, the better. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Please drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do. Hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any videos in the future. So I thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Till my next video, this is the way.